There are several things that we must remind ourselves from time to time. Succinctly, we must remember that in a great state like New York, the right of the jury trial is not absolute. In New York City, a person charged with a B misdemeanor can be forced to trial by judge as opposed to trial by jury. This trial by a judge is also called a bench trial. This can be confusing for a lay person like myself because we are taught that in America a person must be found guilty by a jury of his or her peers before he or she may be convicted of a crime. There's no shame in holding this belief. As Article 3 of the American Constitution and the Sixth Amendment suggest that one must be tried by a jury. The Supreme Court of the United States decided that the right to a jury trial only pertains to serious crimes. Serious crimes are defined in terms of jail exposure. If the potential jail time is six months or less, a crime is not serious and so does not need to be tried by jury. Even more fascinating is that the jail time is looked at per offense. If so, if someone is charged with and convicted of 21 B misdemeanors and sentenced consecutively as opposed to concurrently, that person could theor theoretically go to jail for 10 years without a trial by jury. I think that the best way to find out what, Amer what the American public think of this concept is to publicize it. Obviously, all of this information is available publicly and can be found easily in an internet age. The problem with nearly infinite knowledge is that we take it for granted and don't challenge our beliefs to see how accurate or in 
accurate they may be. As I said before, from time to time, you should remind yourself that there are things that you may believe or take for granted that are not true or not completely true. Ignorance certainly has its place in life and we cannot always search for every answer all the time but it is worth while from an academic and philosophical perspective to question question yourself question what you believe when you're finished questioning all of that question it again great things can come from an inquiring honest mind one does not need to be a genius in order to innovate one need only be reliable persistent and considerate to become an agent of change in the local, state, national, or even international communities.